My name is Aaron Raditz. I get the distinct pleasure of being your magical entertainer for the next few moments. Before we get into that, though, I'd like you to give yourselves a big round of applause for being smart enough for being here tonight. Give yourselves a big hand. Right now, we're going to all try something together as one big happy family. If you have a cell phone, would you please take it out? Here's why. In a moment, I'm going to ask you a trivia question. I'm going to have you send me the answer to that question through my Instagram page. That's where this QR code will take you right now. In order to qualify, you have to do two things. You have to follow me and get the question correct. It's that simple. You're going to see a few moments ago, I put a picture of Frankenstein's monster on there. I want you to put the answer to the question right there in the comment section. Everyone about there? All right, here we go. On which holiday did Harry Houdini die? Send me that answer and we'll find out who our winner is a few moments from now. Speaking of cell phones, I'd like to invite someone up on stage to help me out. I'm uh, looking for a gentleman, a lady, it doesn't matter which. Do we have someone, a teenager or older, that has you have a cell phone with you? Yeah? Come on up here. Bring your phone and give this gentleman a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderful! That was a fast, willing participant. We always like that. What is your name, my friend? <laughs> What's your name? Chris. Chris? Nice to meet you, Chris. Thanks for helping me out. Can I see your phone for a few? Now, you probably know this, but phones these days are made to be virtually indestructible. They're made out of titanium, steel, bits of carbon, things like that. I would like to show you, as well as these smiling faces out here, just how indestructible they are. Is that all right? All right, very nice. We're going to take a step back. Chris, if you stand right there on that blue X for me, please. The first thing I'm going to do with Chris's phone is I'm going to place it inside of a plastic bag. This is to keep the phone from getting wet at all. <laughs> Not smiling as much. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the phone and wrap it up into a piece of paper. Now this is to prevent the phone from getting scratched during our little experiment. These are all safety precautions, Chris, all right? So no need to worry. People often ask me, Aaron, why don't you just use your own phone in this little experiment? And the answer is actually quite simple. You see, my phone is very, very important to me. <laughs> Chris, hold on to that phone if you would for a few more moments. Let's make a bunch of room up here for Chris because he's going to need the whole stage. Because we're going to isolate your phone from way up here in the ceiling where it'll hang for the next few moments. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not supposed to be here. Yes, uh, this is actually my uh, <laughs> this is actually my uncle Ray. Um, we feel sorry for him and the family, so we take him on the road with us everywhere we go. You see, we feel sorry for him because he ain't got no body. <laughs> They're going to get worse, people. You might want to start laughing now. Okay? Chris, come on over. Bring that phone with you. I'm going to uh, hook this to the clamp, and you're going to be in charge of the rope, my friend. And we're going to pull this just back up together. You are in charge of the rope. Nice and high. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Do you have pockets in those pants? Uh -huh. Is one of them empty? That one there? Perfect. Two hands on the rope. Don't pull it or tug it. Pull it just like you are. You're not going to believe what's about to happen. In a moment, I will count to three. When I do, the phone will vanish from that paper package high in the air and appear back in Chris's pockets. 
it can happen, people. All right, it's a magic show. But you gotta help me out. We're gonna count to three. Ready? One, two. <laughs> Did you? You, you didn't pong. <laughs> and all the ace people are here too. I told you something was going to go wrong. Uh, this is quite embarrassing. I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, hey, you can drop that. You've done enough with the rope tonight already. Uh, I guess this gives new meaning to a drop call. <laughs> He's not laughing at that. That doesn't sound good. Uh, do you have the extended service plan? Yeah, well, you're going to want to get it, trust me. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Uh, well, I hope the GM is just still here. Uh, you know what we're going to do? It is the bewitching time of year. How about as a consolation prize for the damage that you caused to the cell phone, how about we give you a pumpkin for Halloween, we'll carve it up real quick into a jack-o'-lantern, and you can lug it around the park for the rest of the night. That's not a good idea? Yeah? You just say yes. <laughs> Now, uh, Chris, I've got two pumpkins there. I've got two pumpkins there. Point, left or right? Left. <laughs> we'll go with that being the right side. Okay, yes, uh, right, perfect. The closest one to it, so we're going to call that pumpkin one. The next one's pumpkin two. You want one or two? One. What? Pumpkin one. Ashley's going to bring it over. I'm going to hang your phone here just for a moment, so we're going to need our hands. Pumpkin one. Have you ever carved a pumpkin before? No? Never! Oh! Well, this is going to be so exciting for all of us. Well, as you may or may not know, the first thing that you have to always do is make sure you start off with a nice, clean pumpkin. And we are in luck, because this one is. It's clean, solid, nice pumpkin. Actually, let's bring this a little closer to the audience, even. We'll do this together. I'm going to show you the steps to make this happen, okay? First thing we do is remove the top portion, which is known as the lid. Do we have a knife back there for Chris to cut it with? Yeah, I'm going to do the cutting. <laughs> After that whole dropping business, I don't want to, yeah, okay. I'm going to make a cut all the way across the top here. Do you know what kind of cologne pumpkins like to wear when they go out at night in town? Ah. Old pumpkin spice. Yeah. I told you they were going to get worse. All the way down here. You see that bag on the side of the table? What I'd like you to do is remove the top portion, I'll hold it still, mm -hmm. and place it in that bag if you would. Now, you haven't done this before you said, this gets a little gross, uh, sleeves are pushed back, wonderful. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's good, so let's set it on top, we'll get it. I want you to grab some of those seeds, or, or just throw it on the floor, make a big giant mess too, that's good. <laughs> All right. You gonna break everything while you're up here? All right. Chris, if you take some of those seeds right there and put those in the bag, they're easier. To, yeah, grab two seeds. That's gonna be right. <laughs> but you really haven't done this before, have you? <laughs> That's okay. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Someone's got their. Here, you want your hands? Someone's got their. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That sounds like it might be coming from that. No. My calculations are correct. And the sound is coming from the pumpkin. Where we're moving on now, we're moving on now, to the pumpkin seeds. Reach inside of there, take that out, hold it up on there, turn it to its side. It's Christmas Shuffle! Let me see that there, buddy. I'm going to open this up. I'll let you reach out of the inside. Take that out, check it out. Is that it? Turn on the screen, yeah? You give me a call sometime. Give our friend Chris a big round of applause! Well done, buddy. Well done. I would like to get two more adults to help me out up on stage. Two more adults, man or woman. If you'd like to help out, would you just throw your hands up in the air? Uh, we're going to do this very quickly. Two more adults. Who would like to help out? Uh -huh. Have a chance to come up here? Huh? Yeah. What, what you like? You're so close. You're almost on the stage, almost. Yeah. Let's get a different camera. Yes. You, sir, and this gentleman. Yeah, come on up here. Perfect. Give these gentlemen a big round of applause. Wonderful. Thank you. What's your name? Ken. Ken, nice to meet you, Ken. Thanks for helping me out. Your name? Evangelos. Evangelos. It was a very stagey name. I like that. Performery name. Evangelos. <laughs> now, Ken and Evangelos, I want you to answer this question seriously. Are either of you TV watchers? Do sports, weather, movies, this sort of thing? Yeah? Occasionally. Yeah. Occasionally? Yeah? Okay. You admit it. I like that. Most people don't like to admit if they watch TV anymore. You ask if you watch television, I don't even own a television. Well, I am proud to say I do. If I'm the 
I've got one of the old school, original, big screen TVs. It's an 82 incher. And these gentlemen are going to help show it to all of you. Sir, would you hold on to this handle right here? And sir, would you hold on to this handle right here? Perfect. What they're going to do next is give you a 360 degree view of my television. Gentlemen, we're going to spin it in this direction. Watch out for this tool right here. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, before you, you see five fabric panels, four sides at a top. They're formed together to make a rectangle and they're seated on top of a piece of steel. Sir, would you stand on that yellow X and one behind you as well? We're going to have you also show the box another way with light. If you hold on to that, please, and sir, you that. If you stand your X and use the flashlight, show underneath the box, show above the box, show at the backdrop, show through the panels. The point is, you get a nice, clean look at exactly what it is that we are showing you. Perfect. You can even shine it on this guy right here. Huh? Yep. Don't do that. He doesn't like that. <laughs> All right. No flashing in this show. Come over here. Come over here. Bring those lights with you. Your part's very simple, gentlemen. I take these back, and you get a bunch of applause just for helping out. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good, good. As for the rest of you, you get an even easier job. You get to sit back and watch television. To be even more accurate, though, you're going to sit back and watch my television. Because we're going to show you in even more detail everything you're seeing. James, why don't we even open it up? As I mentioned before, it doesn't have a bottom, so you can see all the way right through to the back, right through the fabric panel sides as well. Now, I've always been a big fan, as I said, of watching movies, especially Halloween movies. This time of year, they've got some great ones, but I don't like the new ones. I like the old school ones, the ones that are black and white, kind of grainy, bad storyline. Sometimes they don't even have the storyline at all. But there's something charming, endearing about them that I always enjoy. Finding someone to snuggle up with on a couch, turning the lights way down low, and enjoying that moment together. I'm going to do that with all of you. Now, as I mentioned, this is a vintage TV, and it does come with this a vintage TV remote. <laughs> this is considered compact in its day. Let's pull up some old school television. Look at the phone! <laughs> Hello? What's Great that? commercial. What's you remember this one? <laughs> Yo, where's Duke? We'll all do it together in a moment. Get out of your systems. Ready? Stand by. Yo. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what else is on. Oh, this is one of my favorite movies. I must have seen this a dozen times. There's something about it that just always seems to bring it. You'll see what I mean.
won our Instagram trivia challenge. You should have sent your answers in by now. Your question tonight was, on which holiday did Harry Houdini die? And the answer is, in fact, Halloween in Detroit in 1926. Uh, several of you got that correct. Where is uh, Ghost Airsoft? Yeah, Ghost Airsoft? Thank you. Come on up here, my friend. Come on. Give Ghost Airsoft a big round of applause. Well done. Well done. You understand what I said? What's your real name? Lucas. Lucas, nice to meet you, Lucas. I appreciate you coming up here. Obviously, I could have just tossed the glow stick out to you, but that's not very personable. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to give you that glow stick in a moment, but I'm going to give you something even better as well. That is a memory to take home, all right? <laughs> Are these your family and friends out here? Yeah, all right, you might want to get your phones ready for this. <laughs> because I'm going to give Lucas the stage for the next few moments. But don't worry, my friend. You're not going to be on your own. I've got the fly girls here to help you out. we got Jacqueline and Ashley and a glow stick. Here you go. Ladies and gentlemen, make a bunch of Six Flags noise for the amazing Lucas! from the wings, but Lucas was actually riding around and getting it. Very impressive indeed. Thank you so much. Give up for a new friend. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we love it when we have a special group that is dear to us here at the park. I've been performing at theme parks all over the world for almost 30 years now. And there's a group of people here tonight and a lot of them have been with me for a lot of those years, from the Cedar Point to Bush Gardens, and of course, my new family here with Six Flags, and their name, the American Coaster Enthusiasts, they're known as the Ace Group, which you get out of big on the box. We're so glad you're here. I look forward to seeing you out for the show. Don't forget, this is Fright Fest, weekend two. We've got a lot of great entertainment. The weather looks like it's going to hold out, which is awesome. Dead Man's Party is a fan favorite. We catch that one. Our new show this year is called Circus Street. They have three performances beginning at 645 tonight. It's at our outdoor venue not too far from here. We brought together circus acts from Costa Rica to Orlando to Las Vegas, and you sit center ring. Backed by five amazing dancers. It is a show you don't want to miss, so make sure you catch that as well. Now, as I mentioned, I love to meet people in the audience, but it's not practical to meet everybody time-wise. But with technology, we can get close. I've got a camera back here. We're going to try and get a little zoom-in shot of some people. Give my white vapor rat a big round of applause. We love people. Working hard up here for you. This is the kind of thing she wears around the house. <laughs> you should see Friday night. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I've got a camera. This is tied into a live feed. Let me turn it on. And we'll get April there. There she is. Now, let's get a little look down the front row. Give me a wave, people. So I think it's a bunch of mannequins down there. There's that street dancer Lucas right down there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll get a video of you getting me, William. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's all our eight people. Yeah, see? Live camera. I'm showing you this. I can go ahead and turn this off right now, though, so we're not going to need it for a few more moments. I'm showing you that because it's going to play a part in what we're about to do. B, are you ready for this? All right, because it is time to fly!
so glad you're here. Make a bunch of noise for my cast and crew. Welcome to the booth, James. Yeah. My technicians backstage, Andre and Andrew. Yeah. Our dancer, Jacqueline. Ashley. And April Raddatz. Yeah. I'm Aaron Raddatz. Thanks for joining us.